Let's make some calls back to people, honey. I dialed this number right because I think I might have called the wrong, the wrong person. Let me take a closer look. I need to put my rears on for this. The good Lord didn't give me perfect vision like he gave my sister Sue. <laughs> That's okay though. We all have our strengths. Your one stop shop for all your beauty needs. Please leave a detailed message about what kind of service you would like, and we will get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, dear. I believe my baby sister Sue called you up, and she was asking for some sort of hair needs i don't know she she used my phone and i got your voicemail so um just give me a call back she did leave me her calendar she has a job she's doing as a night worker in the lots um the truck lots so i don't know what that means but uh she left me her calendar to make some schedules for her so just let me know um what what's next i mean i don't know what special hair she needs she her mullet is beautifully permed, and I don't know what she would have needed. So, yeah, just give me a call back when you can at this number. Uh, thank you. This is Violet. I can see much better now. I'm glad I put these on. Sometimes I forget I have these. <laughs> was supposed to mean. Yesterday, Thursday, August 1st at 8.39 p.m. from Hey, Sue, it's Jane. You called me earlier about that asphalt splattered all over your car. Uh, give me a call back. I want to talk more about this. We have to get to the bottom of it. End of message. To erase this message, press 7. To save it, press message erased. Next message. I'm going to call him back and see why he's calling my sister, who's a married woman, saying that word to her. That's inappropriate. Inappropriate. I'm telling her husband. There's a man calling her phone. Saying the A word. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and... Did I miss something right there? Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check... Well, shit. Did I just say, well, shit? <sighs> Lord, forgive me. My 
my name is Violet. I'm just doing some calls. Um, my sister has been hanging around me way too much. She's rubbed off on me a little bit. I gave up cussing 20 years ago. I promise you. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say my prayer for that tonight. Sue had some business to take care of on the lot. I don't know exactly what she's doing down there. She just said she's got some business to do on the lot. And I told her, I can help you. And so, you know, she's always on this cell phone. These are the devil. These are the devil. That's why I don't have one. I have a house phone and that's good enough for me. But I told her, I said, sis, give me your phone and I will take care of it. I will check the voicemail. I know y'all want to see Sue. She's a lot more fun. She has way more friends than I do. But my relationship with the Lord is better than hers. So, am I echoing? Can you hear it? Honey, if I have an echo on you, maybe you swap out and swap back in. I don't know technology much, but try that. Because, because most people are saying no echo. Sometimes it's a, it might be something different. It might be something different. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think y'all are lying to me and you're trying to troll me. What about now? Is it better now? Is it better now? You don't hear an echo at all? Why do they hear echoes? Okay, maybe it was an accident. My mom said, what have you done with Sue, you old hag? I'm going to pray for you. May I help you? Anyone there? Ring, ring. Hello. How are you? Hello. You there? Switching out. I don't know what's going on with this. No, really, what is going on with this? <laughs> Thank you for all the gifts. My phone is messed up. Shit. I'm scared again. She's been hanging out with me way too long. Okay. I don't curse. Ever. Can you open this for me? 
Harold. Harold's a good man. He's my second husband. My first one passed heart attack. Get him in the water, <coughs> maker. Is it still bad or some? Can you sh can you show me the sound? Do you have your Do you have your phone? Let me. Hello. Hello. That's only because you have it next to. I don't think it's that bad. I think I need a little thing on it, a little fluffer, but I don't think it's that bad. I think y'all are being a little bit crazy about it, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you so much for that little corgi. That was cute. Hello? How may I help you? This is my own voicemail calling me. Spanky. It's my own voicemail calling me. How does that happen? It won't turn off. I've never had this thing happen like this. This is not turning off. Did you take the battery out? We have to take the battery out. have to take the back of the phone off to reset it. And I did. Did I say spanky? I said to Harold. <laughs> Harold and Spanky hang out all the time. But yeah, that was Spanky. He helps me with some things. He's He wanted to stay over here at my house because when Sue ain't home, he's lonely. Thank you. Sophia from Golden Gore Girls, me? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Dana, for that little tushy shake. That's so cute. Well, I'm waiting on the phone. I'm sorry about this. We're having technical difficulties out here. Oh my heavens, thank you for the stars, Caroline. Thank you, Spanky, you're doing the Lord's work. Where's Harold? Everybody's saying that we're, we're man and woman together. How bizarre. Never. That's weird. That would be weird. Harold's in the other. He likes to play. Thank you so much, Macy, for the money. Money does grow on trees, don't it? Look. Okay. I think we fixed the issue. Sorry for the time waiting. It's just flopping around in the wind. Okay. Let's try this again.
Welcome in everyone. My name is Violet. I'm just Sue's older sister helping her out with some chores she's got. Thank you so much for that lipstick guitar sound and the roses, Carrie. Thank you. Oh my heavens. Thank you for them stars. Listen, I know y'all like Sue and Growing up, everybody likes Sue. She just had such a lively personality, and I understand. But she had some stuff to take care of, so I'm here. So, as Sue would say, tough kitty, said the kitty, but the milk's still good. And God forgive me for saying that, too. I never got into cigarette smoking, no. I think anything that rules your life leads you to temptation and away from the Lord, so I never did touch it. Say your password, then press pass. You have one new voice message. You have two saved voice messages. First voice message sent today, Friday, August 2nd at 5.54 p.m. from This is the hair lady calling again. woman is talking about. Let's give her a call back and try to pray for her. This is bomb sales, baby. I just wanted to let you know that I'm praying for you. It just seems like you've been led astray down the wrong path. You know, us women, sometimes we get sent down the wrong path by men that don't care about us or our hearts. But you know the man that does care about you, he's upstairs and he's waiting for you with open arms. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Sue. Baby, you got another my cigarette? Name, my name is Violet and I don't smoke cigarettes. My sister, Sue, she's, you know... She was always the problem child growing up. Well, you know, she done called me a couple times and left me some messages. And, uh, I mean, you let your sister know for the right price I can I can make the red light happen. I'm sorry, but what what was she trying to pay you for, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I, uh, I'm a hairdresser, and she told me that she wanted to come and uh, listen to the barbicide and the hair snipping and, and in an erotic way. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little on the bro side and I'll do whatever I need to do for a dollar. You said erotic? Yes, ma'am, she did. Okay, okay, that's all I needed to know. Okay, well, I'm praying yeah. for both of you. but you Well, can't. I certainly appreciate it. I'll be praying for you too and you let Sue know I got her back. I'm ready, baby, anytime. Okay, you have a blessed night. You have a blessed night as well. All right, baby. My sister has always experimented with women. I don't know what that means because she's married to a man. And sometimes there's been rumors around this town that they trade partners. Me and Harold have never been interested in that. We are still madly in love with one another, and our bodies are temples, and we would never lead us, lead ourselves astray into another couple's arms, ever. But Sue dabbles in that, and I've told her she needs to be careful, because when the rapture happens, 
the Lord Jesus Christ might just leave her behind. And I don't want that for Sue. Yes, we've been honeymooning since day one, Morgan. That's right. Me and Harold have been honeymooning for 42 years. Please enter your password, then press pound. You have three saved voice messages. To listen to your messages, press one. First saved voice message. Sent. Sunday, June 30th at 7.35 p.m. Hey, uh, this is John Holmes. I thought you were coming over so we can discuss this house. Uh, Was that in June? I'll try calling this is a saved message Man. that's old. I never did call him, but I need to call him. Okay. You know, Sue says that she's 69 to be funny. It's some kind of joke about couples, what they do in their private time. But that's what Harold told me anyway when I asked him what it meant. But um, Sue is not 69. She wants to be 69 so bad. But Sue is 60. She's 60 years old. I am 71. I'm 11 years older than her. She is not 69. But let her have that joke. I don't know what it means. But, you know, she doesn't even know what she's talking about half the time. It probably don't mean nothing. I've been told that before. Yeah, a lot of people like my sister better, and they always have. But, you know, people like sin better. And so I'm not surprised that they prefer her. They like to live in sin, and they like to be around sin, and that's why they like Sue. And that's just the way the wicked world is. And that's okay. I love my sister. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. This is Violet. I'm with the United Methodist Church of Christ. And I just wanted to tell you that we're praying for you. We've been told that you were found with some inappropriate pictures and videos on your work computer is what it says in the notes here and we just want you to know that the Lord Jesus Christ is waiting for you with open arms and he loves you he will forgive your sins I'm praying for you and feel welcome to visit us our church service starts at 9 p.m. on Wednesday nights we do late service because we know people like you like to work and we also have a 9 a.m. service on Sundays always 9 always 9 just remember 9 look forward to it means 8 p.m., but I don't think we finish work anyway, but with what it is. 
with what Sue told me about him, she said that he works for the school district and he was looking at inappropriate things on his computer. I can't remember what exactly it was that he was looking at. Something like a... And I don't know what this is either. I think Sue said it was a queef. What is a queef? I don't know what that is either. And Lord help me, I'm scared to look it up. If it got him in trouble, I don't even know about it either. First time using this. To send a message, press two. To change your personal options, press four. To disconnect. First saved voice message. Message erased. End of messages. To listen to your messages, press one. It's not like to that send at all. a message, Sorry press that. two. To change your personal options. Okay, let's let's check the text messages now. Hi, Lori. Now, Sue told me to play certain things for her during this, so, um, I'm gonna... Did you know that Sue Dillon has merch? Check it out, baby. It's on my link tree. She told me to hit the button, and I do. It's probably me. Don't ask me any questions, because I don't know what to say. Here we have something from a 30330 number. Sue. Let me look a little closer. Sue, it's it is Kamala Harris. Today I received enough delegate votes to secure the Democratic nomination. I know we have our work cut out for us, and this is not going to be easy. So will you make a founding $20? Heavens to Betsy's. $20 donation to my campaign today? Oh my lord. It's a lot of money to ask for a stranger. Together, we can defeat Trump in November and keep building a brighter future for all Americans. Mm, I don't think I'm going to tell Sue about this one. I mean, she's pulling a late night shift just so she can afford her cigarettes. I don't think she's going to be giving no money to no politician. This person is, is from an 847 area code. Can you hear me okay? They said, oh, thank you for the confetti. That was beautiful. I thought I might have bought it. Thank you, Wesley. Thank you for the rose. I just got off the phone with Ted. He said, please give him a call to straighten this out. Where did you get my name from? I'm not a very good texter, so I'm just going to call this person back. Yes, my grandbabies call me Nana. Thank you. Thanks for calling 847 We're going to call them. We're going to leave them. We're going to call them and we're going to leave them on. We're going to call them one more time. We're going to turn it down so you can't hear them. Deluxe subscribers have a lot of perks, honey. If you subscribe to Lux, you get some things with it, like a free call with your first month subscription, six months of subscription, and 12 months. You also get a special prize sent to you in the mail at three months. I'll add you as a friend. Just watch off in your DMs for me to slide in, honey. I 
just, I'm a little confused. My sister Sue used my phone, and I don't know what's going on. I got your text message, but I don't text. So I was just calling back to clear the air and see what was going on with this. <laughs> Have a blessed night. When's, this is a 917 number, and I have a lot of questions about this one. This one says, when's our Arby's date, Sue Dillon? I'll make sure I can get you a carton of Virginia Slims and all the Bucky's beef jerky you can ever handle roar with a dinosaur. Spanky needs to know about this. <laughs> Spanky needs to know about this concerned. You know, men take advantage of women at times, and this might be the case with her. I'm not, I'm not sure. Thank you, cat dog, for that lovely heart. Hi, Annabelle. Um, may I ask who you are? Huh? May I ask who this is? This is Wyatt. Well, Wyatt, I, sat, I found a text message on my sister Sue's phone, and it was you... Asking her to go get Arby's, and I wanted to let you know that she's a married woman. Oh. So that's highly inappropriate. This well, she was calling me saying that she found my debit card down at the 7 Eleven. Okay. Did she give it back to you? No, I think she was cranking me. She likes to do that, you know, on my phone, too, and I get real weird text messages. <laughs> she's oh, way she's too so old. silly. She's way too old to be doing that crap. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for my crass language. Oh, that's okay. Well, I hope you take care, and you're going to have to find another woman, because she's taken. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. You, you take care, son. All right. Bye-bye. He was a nice gentleman, though.